Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be doing a collective reading of um, just general messages. Okay, the first card that we have here is the Queen of Candles. So, um, I'm going to get some clarification because there's a few. Okay, some of you may definitely be dealing with a fire sign, but what I'm getting is this fire sign that you are, like, is in your life. I'm going to get someone that you are kind of just, like, acquainted with. Like, you just know them a little bit, but they're going to, like, say or do something that kind of catches you off guard. And with this Seven of Cups here, it's like you're going to be very confused because you weren't expecting this from this person. Um... It's like almost like they weren't, they do something that you realize like, oh, this person wasn't who I thought they were. Um, okay, and we also have the Nine of Candles. So it seems like this is going to kind of make you feel a little off put by this person. There's a lot of like candles, fire um, here. So definitely seems like some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Um, and it could also be involved like this person with Nine of Candles, it could like this person all of a sudden seems very closed off, very mad at you, like what even happened. Um, but it seems like this is kind of like blocking you in some way, like this is this person is revealing the side of himself all of a sudden to you, because uh, you need to like not, like you need to back off this person for some, for some very specific people. Not like you were like being like too on them, but like you just need to take some time from this person. Okay, so we also have within the next few months and forgiveness. So um, someone may be asking for your forgiveness within the next few months. I want to get some clarification on who that is. Okay, so I'm getting this person as someone you used to talk to a lot. Um, and it could be that they kind of like dropped off. You haven't talked to them in a little bit. And so they kind of like initially when they talk to you, they're like, oh, like, sorry, we haven't talked in so long. And so for a while, you might have been kind of upset. Like, why doesn't this person talk to me anymore? Um, but with these cards here, Justice in Reverse and the Page of Wands, um, and both in Reverse, it seems like this person was very, um, like, not in balance in some way. Like, they weren't really feeling themselves. They felt like they were just kind of like out of tune, like just not right. And so they kind of backed away from everyone. So I'm getting with those of you who had someone that just kind of like dropped off. Okay, um, we also have artists engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. So I'm getting two messages to this actually. Some of you that are already artistic um, and very creative, this is like a calling to you to work on something. There's some kind of idea in your mind that hasn't um, come out yet and it like really wants to. So for those of you that are already an artist, um, this is saying like just take some time to whatever your craft is to um, allow yourself a minute to like think of ideas of something to paint or of, like song idea or whatever because there's something that really wants to um, manifest. Um, and also the other message I'm getting is, for those of you that aren't, that are like not an non artist at all, this was specifically a message for you to kind of open your mind to creativity a little bit and not to say like, oh, you have to like start painting every day, but just, um, to do a little something, even just like watching a video about something creative or watching a video about the creative process or like writing or something like this, um, just do a little thing because it's going to help you to um, have a different perspective on other areas of your life and I'm also getting it's going to kind of give you this fresh like energy, it's going to be rejuvenated in some way. Okay, um, we also have yoga, your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. Um, so this is just saying um, that yoga can really help you at this time just stay in touch with your body um to like align your mind um to stretch especially is what i'm getting um is important for some people like even just like a little bit um or just going for a walk or just doing a very small 
um, thing is just going to help you feel a lot better um, emotionally. Okay. Interesting. Let me get some clarification on these because I think there's a few. Okay, some of you are going to be feeling very free from, okay, yeah, so there's something that was very, like, heavy on you with this Ten of Wands. Um, there was some kind of, like, huge, overwhelming, like, draw on your energy, so it's like you had to do this thing all the time. You're just so sick of it, like, or it was just this constant, like, it could have been something that was constantly on your mind, something that was constantly bothering you, and so soon you're just going to be feeling very free from this. Um, and I'm getting this really changes like your internal state. So it seems like for me this kind of one is something that was very external, like you kept it kept being in your life, you're like saying that you're done. Um, but once this like is gone, uh, you kind of like feel differently about yourself inside. Which is interesting. Um, like some of you, like it was taking so much of your mental energy and your um, time that, like, once it's gone and you don't have to do it anymore, like you take it like you're like, oh, like you almost have to reevaluate yourself in your life um, and like maybe even your identity. Okay, we also have heal and adventure. So um, I'm getting these cards are related. I'm gonna get some clarification as well. Um, but there may be some kind of mini adventure or just like a sense of adventure that you are having in your life that feels very healing. So um, it seems like you're going to like be planning something, um, you're going to go like even just like taking a different way home from work or something like that. Like you just kind of feel like today's a new day, like this is a new week um, and it feels very healing, like you feel very present. Um, and with this King of Potions and Three of Candles in reverse, like, this little adventure that you go on soon just makes you feel, um, like I said, very present, and so you're not, like, worried about the future. It's very fulfilling, this kind of mini adventure. Okay. We have the Fates. And fork in the road. So some of you are going to experience a random change that feels, I'm getting it's just like not expected. So like you thought this was going normal, you thought this was going fine, and then all of a sudden you're at this crossroads. And this is actually very faded um, to bring some kind of balance. I'm getting something that was like a long time ago. Like you had, like it's not on your mind, like when you're watching this. But all of a sudden, like, there's going to be this change, and it was a repercussion from something that happened a long time ago that's going to be, like, balancing the scales in some way, like, making something fair in your favor. And so it's, like, almost where it seemed like there wasn't a choice before, or, like, you weren't aware of this choice. All of a sudden, it's, like, the fates bring this to you, um, this kind of option to take things a different direction. Um... Yeah, just some kind of different choice. Sorry for the pause. Okay, we have Dare to Dream. So, um, some of you are going to be feeling very brave, like there was something that you were um, kind of afraid to do, um, even like afraid to think about, I think, with this Dare to Dream, it's like you weren't like, you were so afraid, like, you wouldn't even let yourself fantasize about it, that you're like, no, it's just not for me, it's just not going to happen, like, no, I can't even think about that, but soon you're just going to be feeling like, like, whatever, like, I'm going to, like, if this is something that kind of interests me, I'm just going to do it, or I'm just going to think about it, or, like, you're going to start to be more curious than you are fearful about this thing. Okay, we also have make some time for friends. So for this a message for somebody that's really um, focused on their work, focused on their career, which is a great thing, or they're just focused on themselves. This card is saying there's uh, make time for friends because there's someone who really wants to hang out <laughs> with you specifically. Like they want to talk to you, they want to spend time with you, and so do this in your own time. I'm not saying like you have to hang out with them, but.
but um, this is just kind of like saying a message for someone that your friends really want to see you, they really want to hang out and talk. Okay, we also have, it's okay to have a voice and speak your truth. So somebody is going to be speaking up um, about something and like I'm getting that it's not really going to be a welcome truth that you speak. So when you say it, people are like, wow, like they're kind of like not, their reaction isn't like that good, unfortunately. They're not that excited to hear this truth. However, um, this is saying like it's necessary for you to speak this and don't feel bad like just because the reaction wasn't like good, um, you needed to say this or like you need to say this when you do say this. So um, like it's okay and that's your truth and to say it is necessary. I'm not getting like you say it too harsh or anything so it's like that. It's just like whoever you say this truth to doesn't want to hear it basically. Okay. Okay, we have, when I reverse the thought, I reverse the condition. There is no condition so severe that you cannot reverse it by choosing different thoughts. However, different thoughts requires focus and practice. If you continue to focus as you have been, to think as you have been, and to believe as you have been, then nothing in your experience will change. So, um, this is a message for someone to really watch your thoughts, basically. And even just, like, the act of watching them and being aware of them, like, there could be something that you keep um, thinking about. And, like, with this fork in the row, I'm getting this could be a related message for this, whoever this person is that this message is for. Um, like, you couldn't even, like, maybe you didn't even realize that, like, you were thinking about this so much or that you had an option to choose a different thought. And, like, with this dare to dream, like, you didn't even realize you had the option to, like, dare this dream. You didn't realize you had the option to, like, hope for this or want for this or fantasize about this. Um, and so this is just saying uh, some of you are going to be just, like, aware of your thoughts, observing them, and you're going to realize, like, oh, I can actually really think about this differently or more positively or like hey like why am I not letting myself like want that like why am I not letting myself uh why do I not think this is an option for me in some way okay um so this is all that I have for you collective I hope that you enjoyed this reading if you like a personal reading please email me the email for that is in the description of this video thank you